Hello everybody welcome to DRM Engineering. Before moving on to today's topic, let me give the answer to the audio clipping in the previous video. Before that let us listen to the audio clipping once again. The voice in the clipping was of Alexander Graham Bell. The words spoken by him were, Hear my voice, Alexander Graham Bell. Now let us get into today's topic. In today's video we will learn about corrosion and ways to prevent it. Come let us jump into the video. Corrosion is a process of degradation of metals, thus losing it back to nature from where it were initially gained. Metal that has been extracted from its primary ore has a natural tendency to revert to its natural state under the action of oxygen and water. This action is called corrosion. And the most common example is the rusting of steel. Corrosion is described as the formation of compounds on the surface of a metal when it is exposed to air and or water or electrolyte like salt water. Typically once the metal corrodes it forms compounds known as oxides or hydrated oxides. Only iron compounds are termed as rusted. All other compounds are known as corroded. Now let us take a look at the types of corrosion. There are uniform corrosion, pitting corrosion, crevice corrosion, stress corrosion cracking, and galvanic corrosion. Uniform corrosion is considered an even attack across the surface of a material, and is the most common type of corrosion. The extent of the attack is relatively easily judged, and the resulting impact on material performance is fairly easily evaluated, due to an ability to consistently reproduce and test the phenomenon. This type of corrosion typically occurs over relatively large areas of a material's surface. Pitting corrosion is a cavity, hole or pit that forms in a small area or point. The pits or holes are obscured by a small amount of corrosion product on the surface. Pitting corrosion occurs when the cathode is large and the anode is small. Typically the surface protection layer or film becomes the cathode when it is damaged and cracked. A small area of metal is then exposed and becomes the anodic. Pitting is vigorous when the solution on the metal surface contains chloride, hypochlorite or bromide ions. Other harmful solutions are those that contain fluorides and iodides. Sulfides and water are also known to enhance the pitting process. Crevice corrosion is also a localized form of corrosion and usually results from a stagnant microenvironment in which there is a difference in the concentration of ions between two areas of a metal. Crevice corrosion occurs in shielded areas such as those under washers, bolt heads, gaskets, etc. where oxygen is restricted. Stress corrosion cracking is a result of the combination of tensile stress and a corrosive environment, often at elevated temperatures. Stress corrosion may result from external stress such as actual tensile loads on the metal or expansion or contraction due to rapid temperature changes. Galvanic corrosion is the degradation of one metal near a joint or juncture that occurs when two electrochemically dissimilar metals are in electrical contact. In an electrolytic environment, for example, when copper is in contact with steel in a salt water environment. Now let us see ways how corrosion can be prevented. Corrosion can be prevented by the following ways. Metal type. Protective coating. Environmental measures. Sacrificial coatings, design modification and corrosion inhibitors. Today we will be learning about sacrificial coatings and design modification.
Design modifications can help reduce corrosion and improve the durability of any existing protective anti-corrosive coatings. Ideally, designs should avoid trapping dust and water, encourage movement of air, and avoid open crevices. Ensuring the metal is accessible for regular maintenance will also increase longevity. With this we come to the end of today's video. Hope you have learned something new today. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not. Also do like, comment and share the video. Until next time it is bye from DRM.